Hello. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Rise of Industry. So, there was a little cutscene to start, start the game. So it looks like this is a city builder. Uh, I think we have to do the tutorial. It's like, I mean, I've been jumping into too many games, blasting through the tutorial or just skipping it and having no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, to get a feel for this game, uh, Rise of Industry. We're gonna do the tutorial. Please wait while map is being generated. The game might become unresponsive. Interesting. Welcome to Rise of Industry. A game about testing your entrepreneurial skills. Here's some instructions. Give you a head start. Thank you. Are there 72 instructions? <laughs> oh. Ooh. 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 Wow, Jesus, fuck. This is the other thing in some of these games, man. Like, <laughs> they overload you with information in the tutorial. <laughs> and so, like, they just sh shove a bunch of shit at you and you're like, uh, what? <laughs> like, dude, what is happening? Does this have a weird effect behind it over this? Like, I don't see... It. It's like there's a hand around the hands, but maybe it's just like... Because I was just rubbing my eyes and face. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it settles, but if I blink, it like moves and stuff. Oh my gosh. 72 pages. Okay, but... Uh, okay, I was too far ahead of myself. It's only giving me two right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is going to give me all 72 at one time. It's like, some of these games we've played, like, it literally just shows a whole bunch at you. Okay, two is better. Alright. I see how it sets you up. Why 72? We plus, press next and then... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, that's much better. I'm not, uh... I was super stressed out there for a second. Okay. Use right mouse button to pan. Use Q and E to rotate. Yeah, dude, I couldn't remember how to do that in Prison Architect. Use scroll wheel, scroll wheel or page up and down to zoom. Q and E to rotate. Right mouse button to plan. All right. W A S D. Oh, okay. So I have to do this in order. Okay, it like forces me to do it, which is fantastic. Thank you. So it's like making sure I know what I do. This is actually a really good tutorial. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. Oh God. Uh, to build a region, you don't control, you need a permit. It's not as easy as buying it. So there's a free market. Start auction. Made enough. Open Chapwick tab. Oh my gosh. Open region tab. Okay, so we are going through all 72 pages. Gods. Darn it. Well, uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no. Uh, if you place your headquarters, it automatically gives you that region's permit at no cost. Once you start an auction, other companies will be able to bid on the permit. How's it go? I thought you were going to bed. So he's got like a cone on his head right now. I was chasing like, Henrik around earlier, and Zuko was chasing me around. And he like bashes into me because like he doesn't know his boundaries with this cone around him. And like his cone went straight into my calf. And like anything that touches my calf like just super hurts right now. <laughs> it's like it's super hard on the outside. It's just like a flat like surface just dug right into my calf as I was like running around so my calf muscles like flexed and oh god dude not good <laughs> it's gonna be interesting when I go to bed I'm gonna have to like put extra cushion between my legs or something all right let's start an auction what the fuck are we doing here all right uh dude I'm, I'm not gonna retain any of this oh my gosh 72 pages of 
I think it hurts because I'm playing all these different games. Like, normally you play a game and you keep building it so you know what you're doing. But, like, I'm jumping into so many different games right now. Alright. Um. Bid. Hey. I won the auction. Alright. If I scan the map a little, I can find the other companies on the map. They have the same abilities we do. They're trying to do the same things I'm doing. So be careful. What does that mean? Open gather tab in the construction bar. Alright, well where's some of these other cities? I wanted to see them. Uh, okay, let's pan this way. Okay, region center. Chapwick. Newton. Oh, Newton. Can I rename, like, my town? Or am I stuck? Canning. Okay. Okay. Let's zoom in. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Okay, this panning around is kind of awkward. Yeah, I'm trying to pan this way. Okay. Uh, construction tab. Select water siphon. Um. Okay, so I have to rotate this. R. Okay, it literally says R on the screen. Right. Place two harvesters. One. Two. Okay. Open road construction panel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, why do you want me to build a, d a dirt road? It's because we're in the middle of nowhere? Oh shoot. Okay. One second here. Need to pull this up and this up. Okay. What? Clicking and dragging over the highlights. What? Uh, what? Okay. Weird. The water siphon is running. Rusty resource like water and sand. It can be collected infinitely as long as I keep paying the upkeep. Well, I have no money. So, uh... I th or else I have infinite money right now. Some resources have a limited amount. We have to be careful how they are used. Okay. So, unlimited water and sand. Gathers for raw resources need to be placed. Alright, open gatherer. What do I need? Coal mine. Perfect. Uh, right there. Place three coal mine harvesters. Okay, so once I put down the mine, it like automatically gives me this stuff. Oh my gosh. And close this. Okay. I don't need a lumber yard. Alright, do we have a bridge here? Or no? Okay. Oh look, it's over water. Oh, it's over water, that's fantastic. It's like Skyrim, like the lumber yards that are over water. Until this one that isn't over water. It's too bad. Alright, let me close the tab. Oh my gosh, open terraforming menu. Place ten trees near lumber yard. Well, what is stupid place to put a lumber yard? Plant trees. Plant ten trees. One. Two. Three. Well, I thought 
thought I only planted three trees. What? Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to get through this tutorial? I just want to build the city, but I know if I went into it, it would be bad. Granted, I'm sure that next time if I do play this again, like, uh, I'll have no idea what I'm doing. Like, that's like going back to Prison Architect. I mean, I'd put probably close to 20 hours in, but going back into it, I just couldn't remember what I needed to do or how to do anything. So that's why I went into the tutorial. And I was still confused. Okay. Yeah, I know what a warehouse is. Yeah, look at that minus money. All right, how does it know where I want to put the warehouse? Place roads to the warehouse entrance and exit. Okay. Note that a warehouse. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Okay, but you have to like connect it. It's super weird. It's super weird. The next step is to get our raw resources from the gatherers to the settlement. What? Oh my goodness. Alright. Open this panel. Go to destinations. Choose destination. Warehouse. Select the warehouse. Why do I select the warehouse? Okay, well, <laughs> great that this was like over it. <laughs> Use the plus button to change to max and to five. Close the umber yard, lumber yard panel. Okay. Okay. Warehouses. Okay. Be warned, selling raw resources is not very profitable. They're best used to make other products. We also later... Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. This feature will hold your vehicles back until... Oh, there's so much. Dude, just so much text being shoved at me right now. Just want to play the game. I get it though. You have to learn how to play the game to play the game. I understand here. No, if Maximod is not... Multiple of vehicles capacity. Not all products will be moved. This only applies to warehouses that can use different vehicle types. Uh, if you're you're watching this on replay, we're gonna go through all 70, 72 pages of this. Like wonderful 72 pages of uh, text and uh, oh my gosh, dude. Okay, I need to like actually read what this says. Well, I can't go back. What in the world? Okay, so you can only fit in what you can fit in the vehicles, is what that says. So, any production building or shop within a warehouse's area effect can take advantage of those abilities. Okay? Close coal mining patrol. Production buildings will store products. Whoa, 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 what, what? 
Production buildings will pull stored products that they can use to generate other products, then push the generated products back to the warehouse to be distributed elsewhere. Alright, so the city builder. The closest I've come to playing a city builder in a long time was uh, Prison Architect, and that wasn't a city. That was just. Uh, I've never actually done much city building at all in my days. I never had, like, any of the Sim Cities or anything. Tropico, City Skylines, none of it. Rouses can automatically send one cycles. Okay. Yeah, I figured we were gonna do this. I don't know what's happening with the shops. Set cycle to infinite. All right. What? I don't remember selecting that to go to the warehouse. Alright, outgoing. Click on the priorities button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Warehouse's priorities can either prioritize producers or shops. The warehouse will distribute to one over the other first. Or we can set the warehouse to forgo setting any products, buildings, or shops, and focus private. Okay, yeah. Click on the priorities button to close it. Uh, okay. I didn't actually click on the priorities button to close it. I clicked on what it was currently set as to close it. Oh, geez, dude, I don't think I should have played this one so late. <laughs> should have just played more. Perfect date. <laughs> We can get the warehouse to forego. Okay, yeah, we already heard that, so I just need to close this. Sorry, everyone. Before we can talk about using the warehouse to make a proper destination, we need to unlock a logistics model on the tech tree. Oh, so there's a tech tree, too. Great. Open tech tree. Where? Hello? Okay, thank you. <laughs> of course, it's, uh... Looks like a balance, like a scale. Okay. At the beginning of each game, we get three free unlocks. After that, we have to spend money, time, and research to unlock. Let's pick a few unlocks that we will need to move forward. Open advanced distribution. Oh my goodness. So you have to like choose how you're gonna roll out the game. Um, open produce. I'll just do whatever you tell me. Like, select wheat and vegetables. Um, so this gets in the way sometimes. Add flour to the research option. Open logistics and administration tree. Add that to the research queue. Okay. I see how many things can I add to the queue. I don't know. Oh, we are researching flower. The research progress bar appears in. Oh, look, dude, look at this. Oh, no, I didn't get to finish reading that. It usually takes a good amount of time to research, so let's cheat. Ah, thanks. Now that the research has been completed, the game will automatically go to the next item in the queue. With this out of the way, let's get back to warehouse management. Can I not open my tech tree? Nope. So I can't add anything else to my queue. Logistic models are warehouse add-ons that give access to different vehicle types, which can haul more units than normal destination trucks. Uh, sure. Dude, we're just losing money. 
um, but we're gaining money. Uh, train terminal awards trains. Bullock's get boss. Oh, sweet. Zeppelin fields gives us zeppelins. It's different capacities and higher cost respectively. The thing with depots is that each has a unique way to connect them. Trains utilize tracks, boats require waterways, and ze zeppelins just float over everything. Open Chapwick Warehouse. So I'm really zoomed in. Destination. Choose a destination. Build the train terminal. Uh, sure. Build it right next to us. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, shoot. There we go. Connect the warehouse. Yep, I got it. Because we only want to use dirt roads for some reason. Like, Close this. Alright, so then I'm guessing I'm going to do something. Need to place a warehouse next to the nearby settlement. And place the train terminal there as well. Then we place tracks between the modules. Click on the warehouse button. Oh, whoa, 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 where is this? What city is this? This is Newton. We also control Newton. Uh, Alright, Cam. I didn't realize we controlled you too. Can I name these places or no? Like, come on. Target building, toggle routes, on, pin, minimize, analysis, storage. I just wish I could name it. All right, then I need to connect the warehouse. Oh. Alright, well, that's where the game wanted me to build it anyways. Oh, there's some rocks in the way. And all these dirt roads seem like a bad idea. Open the network's construction. Select tracks. Okay, I need you to move out of the way. Like, are you just always going to be in the way? What in the world? Alright, railroad tracks. Oh. Okay. This is this a train terminal? You mean camp place here? What in the world? Oh. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so it only wanted me to go so far. I was like, uh, the game's broken. <laughs> Just wanna connect these up. So I'm guessing, okay, they can't merge here. I was hoping. Alright, so, uh, I don't know, kind of seems straightforward. I mean, I say that right now, but, like, it's possibly not so straightforward. I mean, we'll see once it gets to the actual game. But, gosh, lost a lot of money. 
we're just about breaking even, which is bad, because we were well above breaking even before. I don't see what our total money's at. Seems like that's oh oh. Uh, never mind. That's our balance, and this is our estimated sales. So not our profit, just our total sales. Click the plus button. Oh my goodness, dude! This tutorial, like. Oh my gosh. We're on page uh, 47 to 72. Oh shoot, I just clicked out of the game. Um, one second. <laughs> All right. Raw resources, and it wants us to select wood. Sure. Choose a destination. Warehouses. Select the warehouse in Newton. Select the train. The max unit to ten. Oh my gosh! With the wood coming to Newton Warehouse, it can send it to you. Newton Hardware Store automatically as it's in its radius. Make us more money. Now I need to kick it up a notch. Please, no. You don't have to kick it up a notch. Oh gosh. I think, uh, man, so I took a break last night because, like, just playing so many games, like, I think it's easy, but, like, <laughs> just jumping in, it's going to be, like, 33 plus games in 14 days, like, not that I'm beating any of them, but, like, it's, it's, it's insane what I'm doing right now, at least that's how it feels, like, <laughs> I mean, it'd be different, like, let's say I had total free time, and, like, I, mean, I could spend more time in each of these games, but it's just like an hour ish in every game, like some a little bit more to get a good feel for it. Like, oh my gosh. Water siphon has been producing a lot of water for us, but we haven't used it at all. Yeah, I know, I've seen that. We can change that by using a farm, specifically the crop farm. Sure. Open the farms. Oh, good, good. We need to build some farms. And oh right right it, I think where it's gonna like show us where to build it. All right, crop farm. Okay, just out in the middle of nowhere. Place three fields. Yeah, I think the fields need to go around it. I mean, what? Okay, fine. What a setup. Close crop building. Okay, if you say so, game. Open, yeah, okay, I need to connect this. Dude, what? Fine. Open the Chapwick Farmer's Market. Okay, how did I know that was the Farmer's Market? Like, how would I have known if it didn't put an arrow over it? Um. Open the Crop Farm Production tab. Set this to set the crop production to vegetables. What? Okay, it won't let me unclick it, so that's fine. How did I know I need vegetables though? Congratulations! Congratulations! We now have a working vegetable production production line. So let's start making some money by selling our vegetables. Um, eventually we'll start to produce higher tier products that generate higher profits. Factories are buildings that allow select a recipe to generate a product similar to farms. Okay, factory, pollution, prototype facilities. Oh my! Oh my. Okay, yeah, let's turn this the other way. Yep, of course I need to do this. Uh, yeah, I know. Q. 
I need to build a road. Yeah, I got this part of it. I got this part down. Got it down. Look, road builder. Extraordinaire. Open pollution management. Yeah. Place air purifier. I mean, how many air purifiers am I going to need? Like, this game's called the rise of industry. Like... There's no way you can prop this down next to every building, right? Each pollution management building repairs a different good. To remove pollution, radius around the building, keeping everything clean. So how do I see like the radius it works on? Like is that something I can see? Gosh, look at all these icons, like all this stuff that we can do. Like can we just I guess the closest most recent thing I would have done is like roller coaster tycoon but that's not really a city build builder so um, I just don't have a lot of experience with city builders um, I've done like SimCity 2000 or whatever and mostly I just play on unlimited and build giant stuff or start in a scenario and then just bring aliens in because uh, I don't know <laughs> It wasn't my game anyways, it was my sister's game and I don't know, it was like I wasn't allowed to play it or whatever. <laughs> Another aspect of Rise of Industry, she covers traffic. As we add more buildings, there's more traffic. Okay. Open map layers. Okay, I don't know where that is. Map layers. Show traffic heat map. Is there? Oh, well, looks like the traffic's pretty good right now, sir. Oh my goodness, dude, look at that. That's disgusting. Why did we? Why didn't we build a, a air catcher over there? Select query tool. Query tool. is used to tell you the detailed information about the tile your cursor is over tell you the tile type and the pollution rating building type and watch much 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 more is there like a mini map that I can have up and just like click on to travel around pollution a hundred percent pollution oh my god close map layers oh next I already closed it or closed by default I'm not sure not sure at all man so there's a lot to this game a lot to it but I imagine once you get it going it gets pretty good um, your map name goes here well okay there's some other tools we haven't we have at disposal if we hit the tab key Okay, let's press tab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, back LLP canning. Cycle through the tab options. Press the alt button to make bubbles appear. Well, red means something isn't working. Okay, this seems pretty important, actually. So how did I pull this whole thing up? Did I press tab? Is that what got this started? Well, red means something isn't working. The bubbles will show you how many trucks are waiting to be dispatched. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Pressing the alt button. Pressing the alt button again will make that disappear. As we expand our industry, industrial empire, we'll need to start thinking about the other corporations on that map that will want to take us over to see them open the... From here we can see who's on the map. Alright, back LP and my corporation. 
Um, am I able to name my corporation? Like, that'd be nice. Help me feel like I'm attached to the game, like I'm the one calling the shots, making the decisions. From here, we can see who's on the map with us, what they are producing, how successful they are, and how much they're worth. Alright, 11.05, cash flow losing, top tech produce. Okay, each company has 10 shares of stock that they can buy, present 10% of the total value of the company. We can buy that stock to get a stake in the company. We buy all of a company's stock. We buy a share of somebody's stock. What in the world? If we buy all the companies, we would own that company or vice versa. That entity entitles the buyer to every building permit. What in the world? Okay, that's how I got it stuck. Alright. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go start a game. Maybe start slow with the newcomer difficulty and get rich. Well, uh. <laughs> Alright. So, it's getting late. I almost like fell asleep there. Gee, versus this tutorial. Reading 72 pages. Like. So, here's the thing. Like, bedtime and nap time. Like, I'm reading books before then. So, like. I'm, and like I read them out loud too because I got to read them to him, you know, I mean some he's doing all right, but like uh, I'm reading books Like I don't know something about it like just drops my heart rate. Yeah, let's see here at some point playing this heart rate dropped to a 54 Like for a whole minute right now. I'm registering like 59 58 57 so like <laughs> Jeepers uh, my resting heart rate's under 50, so... Uh, sometimes, though, when I'm awake, I'll drop below 50, and, uh... That's usually if I'm close to falling asleep, or just, like, super, super calm or something. Um, alright, that is the tutorial. Um, oh my gosh. So, so I want to start with career. Start with easy. All players, AI players, few, none. Uh... View. How do? What did it suggest that I do? No, I'm very confused. AI name generator, 1930. Okay. Map size. Minimum, 16 gigabytes. Okay. What? Large maps use a huge amount of resources okay jeepers uh, well I don't have 16 gigabytes of RAM I only have 8 what in the world what is what in this game could need me to use 16 gigabytes of RAM in a city builder that's like cartoony graphics you know to try to make it run faster or else they're just easier to make like I'm playing on a laptop here come on I mean it's not bad I mean it's a good laptop but jeez alright well I won't start the <laughs> the new city here I'll do that next time I play so I've been keeping like a word document of the games I've been playing for the Jingle Jam bundle and ranking them. Uh, for some, if I haven't got a good enough experience, I am marking that down. Like Colony Survival, I only played 30 minutes, that's not enough. This, I finished the tutorial, uh, that's not enough. So it's not an accurate depiction of the game, really. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching the tutorial. 72 pages of reading. If you're watching this late at night and you didn't fall asleep, uh, good on you. Um, I don't know how, but uh, jeepers. 
72 pages of tutorial and now we'll rest and it'll all sink in and next time we play the game after I've played at least an hour of like 10 more games or something I think this brings it to 11 games in 5 days that I've left so more than doable more than doable with the pace we've been doing though I'd like to just like knock a bunch out one day then I can really start playing some of the games I like from this bundle but uh, it's been good it's been good I don't know it's a city builder um, seems like an in-depth city builder but granted I have like no experience with city builders so uh, yeah we will definitely play some of the actual game in a bit <laughs> maybe jump into like the discord or something I don't know he wants me to join the discord so yeah thank you for uh, watching thank you for hanging out uh, it's been good and uh, yeah we'll keep on playing the games we've got uh, I don't know what we have left we've got transistor farming sim waking sunless sea um, some away journey something like that I don't know it looks like a weird it's like 2D fighter, 3D adventure thing. I don't know, 2D characters in a 3D world, something like that is what I read. Um, uh, safety first. So, yeah, so I think tomorrow I've got that away journey, away to the journey or something. And uh, safety first <laughs> downloaded to play. So that uh, should be good, should be good. And this is good too. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Safety first, you're like a robot with a with an extra part that leaks oil. <laughs> and that extra part's between your legs and it's leaking yellow oil. So I don't know uh, how that's going to go. But it's going to be, it's a real thing. Uh, looks like other people have played it though, Twitch and YouTube and whatever. And like uncensored too, so that should be alright. No, like the store page, it's censored, so it's kind of strange. Alright, it, although it's just like a metal piece. I don't know. Alright, thanks for watching. It's been good. Man. Alright. Uh, play some more. Oops, uh, sometime here. But uh, until then, uh, keep checking out these streams. They're live generally sometime between 1 and 5 lately. It's been a bit late actually. It's been like 3 to 5 versus I prefer the 2 to 4. That works out best for everyone. And then uh, off in a late night stream. So like ideally 10. If I start at 10 I can maybe get two games in. But try to just do an hour if I'm like at 10 or at 10.30. So today started a little bit after 10.30. But, so decided to cut off at 11.30. Central time. US Central. If that means anything for you. Alright. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah. Have fun. Goodbye. Uh, buy the bundle. Goodbye. Donate to charities. Goodbye.